Happy Monday, everybody. We are on module five, lesson one today. So this is a brand new module where we are exploring volume by building with and counting unit cubes. Now, I know that you guys do not have unit cubes at home. Most of you do have, most of you have your iPad. Okay, and if you are looking at my iPad right now, there is an app called, with a red block or a red cube that is called Tap Tap Blocks. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video. I want you to go into self-service, which is on the left-hand side of my screen. I am touching it right now. This is self-service. You're going to go in self-service. When you get into self-service, you are going to press the search button down at the bottom. And in the search box, you are going to search for tap, tap, blocks. You just pretty much just need to write the word tap and it will come up. You're going to install tap, tap, blocks. This is going to help you build your towers. Now, I want you to kind of play with tap, tap, blocks once it installs just to kind of see how it works. It took me a little bit to kind of figure out how that um, that app worked. And so play with it around, play around with it just a little bit before you actually get into the app. So <clears throat> right now I am on the app. And our first problem for lesson one um, says to build a solid from cubes. So, so solid, our problem number one is to build a solid from cubes. So the first thing that we are going to do is you will also need your templates. Okay, so in your new packet that we handed to you, you should have a stapled, uh, there's probably four or five pages stapled together. Those are your templates and you're going to be using this lesson one template right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to shade a square on our centimeter grid paper with an area of four square units, four square units. So I am using my grid paper uh, horizontally and I am going to shade in a square that is four square units. So here's one square unit, two, three, trying to be as, and four. So, the, and I can shade that in if I want. Okay, shade it in. So this is my, I'm gonna shade it in a different way by highlighting. And I'm gonna use gray and I'll highlight this four square unit. So I just shaded in a square, right? I just made a square with an area of four square units. Now remember that area is length times width, okay? Area is length times width. And so we know that this is four square units because the length is two units and the width is two units and two times two equals one, two, three, four square units, okay? We can also just count our square units right here. But this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? So yes, we now have a square on our centimeter grid paper with an area of four square units. This is going to be the foundation for the structure that we are going to build, okay? So this is going to be the foundation for the structure that we are going to build. So after you do this, I want you to go to your Tap Tap Blocks app, okay? And I want you to create this foundation here of four square units, okay? Please create the foundation of four square units like I did here. Four square units. So from this view, this is like an aerial view on the top here. From this view, 
it looks just like our foundation, right? This is a 3D view of the foundation that we just drew, okay? So let's think of these first four cubes as the ground floor of our building. So these cubes right here, this is the ground floor of our building. We're gonna construct a building. So I want you, in your Tap Tap Blocks app, I want you to make a second floor by putting another four cubes on the top of these ones. Okay, so put another four cubes on the top. I'm gonna make my second floor all blue. Okay, so now I have a second floor on top. Can you guys see my second floor? There is my second floor on the top of my foundation. Okay, so now if I look at my aerial view, I have my second floor, which is that all blue floor. Okay, how many cubes do we have now? Good, we have eight cubes now. Did we change our ground floor? Why or why not? No, okay, we did not change our ground floor. We built on top of it, right? The second layer of cubes doesn't make it or doesn't make it take up more space on the ground. So when you build a second floor on something, it doesn't make you take up more space on the ground, right? You're just building up, okay? You are building up, not out. So the structure got taller, but it did not get longer or wider. Put one more layer of four on top. So you're gonna build a third floor. I'm gonna make my third floor, um, I th let's do orange. I don't know if I've used orange. Okay, so there is my third floor. So how do you know the total number of cubes? How many cubes do we have all together? And how do you know? Okay, you can count up from eight as you put on each cube, so we had eight, and then we, when we added them, okay, so here's eight, and when we added our cubes, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay, that's a way to do that, okay? Another way is that we know that each floor has four blocks, right? The first floor has four, the first floor has four, second four, and the third four, so that is four, times 12 or three, sorry, not four times 12, four times three, three fours. So three times four is 12. So what is the total number of cubes here in this solid that we just built? How many cubes do we have all together? I kind of gave you the answer already. Good, we have 12 cubes all together. Nice job. So this is problem one. That is your first problem. Way to go.